In Node.js, one of the things that we have to uh, know uh, that we have available to us is the process RV. So let's do an example so we can make sense out of this. So this is an example.js file. What I want to show here is that we can console.log process.argv. And if we print that, if we run that in the command line with node, and we say the name of the file, which is example.js, we're going to see that we get this array. So process.argv is an array, and then we get two things. We get um, where node is installed, right? And one way to see that that's the case is if we do, uh, well, node version, we'll see what version we have. Um, and then we'll see, and then we'll also see uh, which node, which will basically be the best one. And this will be user local bin node, user local bin node, which matches, right? This is where we have node, where it resides in my system. So that's one thing. That's the first line always. And then the second um, element in the array is what file? The, the path of the file and the file name, right, that we're basically running, which is example.js. Well, this is in the users directory. At Orsini is my username, desktop, JavaScript, example.js. So that's the beauty of process.rv, but it, um, argv, but it gets even more interesting when we run example node.js and I say something like add is passing arguments, right? And we say enter. We're going to see that we still get the path, right, The where node exists, where, where it's installed. We also see the name of the file in the path. And then we see the arguments that I'm passing in, which add is passing arguments. So this is the, uh, you know, 0, 1, 2, the second element, the third element in the array, uh, the fourth element, and the fifth element. So we can get that, and we can pass arguments to our JavaScript code in Node.js and then handle things appropriately. So that's one thing that you could do, maybe um, some some script and where you pass some arguments and uh, or you can consider them as flags or whatever it is that you're passing and your program can react accordingly, well, according to these arguments that are being passed in. Very, very important. This we see uh, in many different languages, not only uh, Node and JavaScript like this, right? But we see it in other languages as well. Very common. Um, and in fact, in Java, those those of you who follow me in the Java world as well, you'll see that, uh, you'll know that the whole public static void main uh, method, right? We have an args uh, array, and that's what we pass in as well. So again, this is in Python, and uh, uh, as well, but uh, and this is in JavaScript, and this is in um, in Java as well. But uh, just thought this would be a very neat video just to show you what the whole um, idea is behind process.argv. I hope this helps.